Hello, hi, what's up? It's me, Karen, your favorite booktuber, and I wanted to take a second to chat a little bit more about a book that I did discuss in my April wrap-up, but I feel like it didn't do as much as I wanted to, so we're doing a dedicated video. That book just so happens to be Brat by Gabrielle Smith. This book is a debut. It's coming out June 6th or 4th. I don't know. Look into it. And shout out Penguin Press for sending me this book. I really appreciate it. I went off on a monologue in my April wrap-up about the beauty of a physical arc and yes that's all um, anyway so this is the book this is this novel is about um our protagonist Gabrielle who is who also shares the same name as our author and so Gabrielle like our author is also an author and they just so happen to move back home because their father has recently passed away and their mother has dementia she's in a care home and he has been um tasked what a weird word to actually say out loud uh his brother and sister have told him pardon his brother and sister-in-law have told him that he needs to get the house ready for sale because brother and sister-in-law want to sell the house and it's quite unusual that they even have this request because we find out that brother and wifey are quite rich but they really want to sell the house and our narrator goes back home he is struggling he is physically falling apart, he's grappling with grief, he is drinking, he is smoking, he's doing drugs, he's hanging out with these two creepy um, siblings who might be twins or I don't know, they gave a very creepy vibe. Anyways, he's doing all that and while that's happening, there's a few things that are going on. First of all, there's this creepy deer creature that's running about the town his physical body is falling apart. He is suffering from an extreme case of eczema where his body is flaking off and like literally pieces of his skin are just falling away. While that is happening, the house is also crumbling in a way that I find quite interesting. So there's this black mold that is popping up throughout the house. There is a leak there are shingles that are falling off of the roof and I just think this idea of the narrator's physical body falling falling apart and also the house falling apart this idea of you know the body as your home and then the physical home also both crumbling at the same time is something that I thought was quite interesting and kind of poetic there's a reference that comes up in page 131 about this um when one of the other minor minor i'm not even going to go into it just yet because we just dove right into this but at one point there's this quote from a dermatologist guy who also happens to be called guy uh one handful of theories guy said we know very little about the skin it's the largest organ on the body we live in it but we know so little about it really we can hide our blemishes cut off the parts we don't like but we have very little understanding of things that cause the problems in our skin and i actually think that's quite an interesting thing to consider it is true we actually don't know what causes eczema. I, as someone who also suffers with eczema, know what it's like, and I love seeing eczema rep in novels. <laughs> Anyways, that's a tangent. But I just thought that this idea of eczema, not knowing what's happening with the skin, but also at the same time, the house is also experiencing this transition and crumbling because the narrator doesn't know what's going on. They are grappling with this grief, and while they are going through the process of clearing out the house, they actually very early on get distracted because Gabrielle, our narrator, finds his mother's long lost manuscript. And in this manuscript, he uncovers a few family secrets, but that's not what's the most compelling thing about this manuscript. Every single time he picks it up, it changes. And this kind of sets him off on this path of kind of trying to get to the bottom of what's happening. He calls up his mother. He's talking to his grandmother. He tries to get his brother to read it. And, you know, as he's learning more, he also stumbles across this family video that also changes each time he watches it. And I just think it's really interesting the way different forms are introduced into this novel. We have the inclusion of the manuscript, which we do get to read. We also have a few short stories and a screenplay. And I just think it's quite a playful novel in that regard. It's something that it has its own distinctive style. It's told through these vignettes and then we have these other forms and the sentences are all very like staccato, short. There's this interesting repetition that happens that, you know, someone will say a sort of jokey thing and then there's this 
it's, it's repeated. And I think maybe that might annoy some people, but for me, it kind of worked. So the humor is a bit ironic, very internet style. I, I vibed with it, but it might not be for everyone. And then I do think that there were some interesting motifs that are sort of repeated. The one that I've like gone on and on about is the house body falling apart situation. And then also there's this reoccurring discussion around Russia. It first pops up with the narrator's ex-girlfriend's short story in which there is a Russian oligarch who has a relationship with art and wealth that is quite interesting to look at. And then this, this, this Russia Russian like motif pops up a few more times. There's also this like, because this is kind of a Gothic novel, our narrator is, has this feeling of being watched. And I think as the reader, you're kind of just like, oh, what's going on here? What's happening? But I actually think that it's something that's more evocative of everyone's lived realities in the sense that we are always being watched, whether it's through CCTV. I don't know what we call it in America, what, whatever, but you know what I mean? And not only that, which is the, you know, the physical state, pardon, or like the, the state watching us, but also everyone is on their phones and you just you just don't know whether or not someone is recording you and if that video whether like it will ever show up on the internet it's just this very like eerie uncanny way to live and exist in the world and finally i i want to say that this novel is very irreverent and by the end of it i was actually quite touched and moved because as you sit with a novel and let it take you where it's going to take you it's actually a story of grief and the ways in which grief can make you go a little crazy and experience some weird things and i think i was quite touched by that because we're seeing the narrator just feel so alone and isolated and the one relationship that we see the most is their relationship with their brother also their grandmother but that one's like a, a little bit different the relationship with the brother i think is the most interesting because siblings are like i really value and rate the sibling relationship because i do think that they're the longest relationship you're going to have in your life most likely and you see how the brothers have this like similar sense of humor they do get each other but they're both grappling with this significant loss and we just see how they're navigating this transition in a way that by the end of it I was as I said quite touched and moved and and then the final thing I want to leave you with is this idea of grief memory history this is something that the narrator is kind of unta untangling especially as you know his mother has dementia he's just gone through this grief and he's chatting with his grandmother about how you remember the good bits and his grandmother says that history is the opposite of memory each time you remember you're rewriting and then she says where and then the kind of final note in this conversation is when the grandmother says that memory is intrinsically linked with loss that's kind of i guess you could say the final little thing i want to say about this novel i really enjoyed it i hope if you read it let me know what you think your thoughts and feelings about it it's something that's very peculiar and a fun read and um it might not be your idea of a beach read but it is mine okay see you later